Hello everyone, Spencer Brownrick here, and today I'm reviewing the 2013 Take and Play Thomas. First of all, Thomas needs no introduction. The cheeky little E2, who became the startling something of the whole show. First of all, let's go into the smallest detail. First of all, it's Thomas, nothing else. It's crisply painted, but this paint is a bit cheaper. As on the 2015. Also known as Marcus. Hi, you look just like me. And you look just like me. But taller. And more detail. That's right. Because I'm 2013. The newbies are the skanks. Yeah. Anyway. I like the CGI face on this one, I prefer it over the 2009 Mattel, which I will grab, just now. And if you're wondering why, you see this is a, I've turned it into a custom LBSC. I will not mention what this is for. Let's just say I've got a voice actor involved. The blue E2. Whoop, 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 whoop. I've made three custom models of this. I've done this model. This model. And this model. Anyway, back to the video. The CGI face is perfect. It looks almost identical to the show. There's a few extra details. Don't know what this red line's for. I would have preferred if that was painted blue in a sense. It's almost plastic. And if you haven't noticed, but this Tom is just slightly taller than, this, than what preceded it. So technically, there's slightly more metal used in the cab. And this also affects it in the boiler section. This is slightly taller as well. Don't know if anyone's ever noticed that, but hey, thank you. My only problem is there are screws. Is there a rivet? Sorry, I, I prefer customality. Like, say for the Streamlight Thomas, I always sort of want to take its face off and then put it on, say, the 2009 Mattel Thomas to make him look like him has a determined face. Anyway, Thomas. Of course he comes recommended. He's the, he's, he's, he's the best model around. Basically the best. He's the simplest. And technically, it's the most complex. Complex. So, basically the best. I I like this model. I this is my this has become my favorite out of all the take and play models there have been. I will not be collecting the new range. If you are wondering, the only literally improvement is the track. I I sort of prefer the track because we get we get proper switches instead of just. Switches that are completely curves, then a straight. That's what that I might I might get the track packs. I will get the track packs, mostly because I only have twenty two pieces of track. Though I'm actually missing two pieces, so twenty pieces of track. Hooray! Anyway, Thomas comes recommended. You need Thomas even if you if you're a Hornby collector, Backman collector, sorry Bachman or Backman or whatever. If if you're a track master, wooden railway, line L, G scale, what other brands are there? Um Minis. Um anyway, that's my review of Take and Play Thomas. I'm in the, currently in the production to make my next episode and I'm sort of going ahead here, but I'm making a film. Now I will be making another film after that film. Which involves these guys. I won't mention what. But anyway, this is my review of Take and Play 2013 Thomas. Thanks for watching and bye for now.